What's up with the YouTube? It's your boy Kane here. We back in the building with another video, man. Hey, today on the menu, we got another review of the Sharon Bracy show. Um, yeah, Sharon Bracy. If y'all uh are unfamiliar with Sharon Bracy, I did do a review of his show a little while ago, maybe a month ago, with Thomas Sotomayor and uh Jay Prince for president, uh going at it. Uh, like I say, Sharon be having a good show over there. If y'all need a reminder of who Sharon Bracer is. Yeah, a little one. My baby sleep. Yeah, that's Sharon Bracer right there. So if you're into that type of thing, uh, the link will be in the description below. So go over there, uh, give him a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, like I say, Sharon always bringing that controversy, man. Uh, one thing about it, whether you agree with him or not, uh, agree with his cousin or not, whatever, uh, they put on a pretty good show. It'd be interesting over there. Um, yesterday he had on a, uh, I guess, for lack of a better term, a triggering triggering guest. Um, you know, his show is pretty much a, a black space, no doubt about that. Um, but he had a Caucasian gentleman on. And he was triggering everybody using racial slurs and everything like that. So, I mean, it was going up over there. So, uh, to my surprise, his cousin, Brownsville, in my opinion, I mean, it may not, may not be the first time, but, you know, he uh, held his cousin Sharon accountable for having that, having that guy up there um, for that long and, and cutting up as, as much as he was. Uh, and cussing out some of the, the main people that be a part of Sharon's show. So, uh, hey, man, we're going to take a look at it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're going to get right into it, man. I ain't going to hold you long. Share screen. All right. So, uh, the guy out there, you see uh, Ben Thorpe. He been up there a couple times, so everybody know what to expect. So it ain't no surprise, you know. Let's get into it, man. Let's go. Like, I agree with that. I, I agree with that. Like the police, they have authority. Okay. Wow. It's so, different. All right. So if that's the case, so if we, we going to use, if we going to use Ben in their home, and the police actually used to respect parents' authority. So Ben, so They're in that case, if we are going to act like parents or police as long as that child do nothing wrong you do not need to be a parent no parenting is more than that parenting and exactly right. and police is only called on when they do something wrong so therefore the you cannot compare parents I'm not saying, it's called an example i'm saying they both have authority and then you're saying why don't you say next how come parents don't wear a badge how come parents don't wear a uniform? What are you, stupid? Yeah, yes, stupid. that's what I'm saying. It's you're an analogy. That's saying. That's that analogy. It's different, but it's similar in some exactly. ways. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why you got to stop using that parent police analogy because it they is. They both not, have authority. Not, it doesn't coincide at all. And it is very, it's very idiotic for you to compare police and parenting. Well, so, I'm oh, so, so, oh, sorry. Only problem. I, I'm sorry, either man. I'll let you finish. Only problem I have with that, like Ben, you just told me that you was a Catholic teacher for a certain amount of years. You mm -hmm. didn't have. You had certain restrictions of how you was an authority to children versus yes. what a police officer does. So we all know that people yeah. of authority don't have the same type of rules and regulations to fall right. under, correct? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some like limitations in it. And I think that's right. I don't think teachers have the same authority as parents do. And I think sometimes situations uh, with kids, they should be brought to the parents and the teacher shouldn't like do certain things. Right. Um, but you do act in loco parentis, which is a little bit like, you know, I'm acting as your. All right. So right here, you know, they having a the conversation about parenting and things like that. And um, I just wanted to start it off a little bit, you know, before Brownsville came up there to give you a feel about what's going on. Like I say, they're talking about parenting. And really, the, the issue is, is, is Ben comes up there on the panel, you know, it's full of black folks up there. And he come on the panel, he, um, of course, talking about black issues and and the community and things like that. And, you know, we always, um, we're not very fond of that, you know, a lot of times. So that's the issue. And then when you 
throwing out some insults and, and racial slurs or whatever like that. I probably didn't capture any right here, but believe me. Um, and I don't want to use too much of run show anyway. Like I say, y'all go over there and check out the whole thing if you want to. But uh, in just a few moments, Brian's really is going to come up and, and address the situation. So let's go. Parent in the classroom, and I can punish you in certain ways, and your parents should respect that. Um, but yeah, it's limited. Yeah. But it was I abuse. You remember when we did have that, right? There was a point in time we had governances and we had teachers and stuff, especially if they went to private school, that they was able to discipline, especially at Catholic school. They were able to discipline um, children. They had to yep. stop that at a point because it was starting to have abusive cases. Not every case was abuse, but there were enough abusive yeah, cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they had to take that away, right? So we. I don't. Even, I don't think taking it away. I don't. In, in actual fact, they didn't take it away. It just doesn't happen anymore. It's legal in the state of Rhode Island to uh, use physical corporal punishment. In many states it's still legal in Rhode Island to use that. And in, and in most most black folks, when you ask them, they're in favor of corporal punishment. I know about what corporal. most black folks do. How long is that? Exactly. Statistics. No, but but hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Him, but hold he also on don't hold it on the black side, Hold on one second. Hold on one second, man. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Sure. Hey, cuz, cuz, I need to have a quick conversation with you, man. Yeah. A quick conversation. Yeah, just go ahead do and you, have. It. Do you see um this mongrel Ben <laughs> as adding value to your show? Yes, because he's moving the conversation for a lot of men think the way how he thinks. And these type of men need to be spoken out more so we can actually uh, attack the rhetoric hand on. So you think him. Most black men. Racial, racial, hold on, hold on. I'm not no, talking to you. That's what your black Why men agree with me. Listen, hold you can on. See what Jerome so, does. He lets a, a black so, woman take over his panel. He's a bitch. Most <laughs> black men agree with me. He should have told that bitch. Shut yeah. Her. Fucking mouth. You, you, him, you ain't gonna you tell a woman to shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna try to see the shit. Yes, I am. But you yes, got yes. you got the right one on this panel right and a now. Good you woman to say, God damn the right. You're right. you, you doing so well. You're doing so well. This MJ fault. We all know what you are, Trilla. Jack. Jack, definitely, absolutely. Cuzzo. Oh, y'all not gonna sit up here and blame this on me. This huh. is what y'all for is Jack in world to world class Cuzzo. Cuzzo. because y'all too long on quiet. Cuzzo. Yeah. I'm just gonna ask you, just drop them, drop them for just a second so we can have this conversation real quick. Oh, come on. Don't be you, you can bring them, you can bring them right back up. Don't be such a pussy. Now, you you said he was moving the conversation forward, right? But what he was actually doing is cutting people off, interjecting and interrupting, right? Spewing mm -hmm. nonsense and racial slurs right mm -hmm. he did all that here on 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 your show so do you feel like that's moving the conversation forward absolutely in what way because most people don't nah man hey like i say being been up there before you know you know it's gonna be straight effery when when being thorpe come up there hey man listen it it it, it doesn't move the conversation forward it it, it for, for if anything, it, it makes the conversation a little bit more spicy. It's going to be controversy. And, you know, people, of course, hey, look, look at me. I'm reacting to it. So, you know, it is what it is. But in my opinion, it don't move the conversation forward, man. Uh, kind of stagnates a little bit. But that's my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Let's go. Don't get an opportunity to have a back and forth conversation with somebody that is as free thinking as that. They only keep that amongst themselves. And so most people do not realize that this shit is happening on a day to day basis. So when I'm in these board meetings, I'm dealing with that every fucking day, but they cannot speak it the way how he speak it. So therefore they keep it covert. So now we can get more of them to be overt than now. Maybe more people could be able to address the situation at hand properly instead of just going to blame somebody and complain it and remain stoic and understand who they are dealing with when they see them. Right. So do you believe... I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You know, Sharon be getting some good uh, political answers, you know, to uh, <laughs> to some of his questions. He be, he be dancing, man. I ain't gonna lie. But, hey, man, you, all them people on that panel is old enough. You know, by, by this time in life, you know who somebody like a, a Ben Thorpe is. I mean, 
I can see getting a little sneak peek of it, but we don't need a whole show with dude up there just, you know, doing whatever, in my opinion. That's all. Believe that we are ignorant to what you just said, that we got to deal with these people in our everyday I lives. I don't think most people deal with other races. Most people do not uh, intermingle with other races. Most people only deal with themselves. Hmm. I, I disagree with that. I think now in 2024, we're actually are intermingling, having conversations, doing business deals, et cetera, et cetera, with different races. The difference is there's a certain level of decorum, right? So just like you, Cuzzo, when you have to go to the boardroom, you have to conduct yourself in a certain manner, right? You can't just exert yourself in there and attempt to take over the boardroom right when when it's when it's just you there you see what i'm saying that's the difference like he is allowed to come over to your channel and just completely take it over and have carte blanche to use racial slurs to disrespect our women right and disrespect you yeah and that's, that's i, I just don't understand like how that's productive and moving the conversation forward can I can I say this real quick, Ramsville? Up I, to run on one hundred percent with what you're saying, right? But what your cousin just said to the point where he's being disrespectful to you—that's when he got he got to get his ass the fuck up out of here. That shit too much. <laughs> so the problem is, the problem with, is with that is that he's not the only one that come and be disrespectful. That, hey, you should have when Fatty said that dumb shit to you yesterday. You should have kicked this bitch ass off, but I don't. I understand. So what I'm saying is this: when other people be a disrespectful for some reason, y'all have tolerance towards that. For me, Ben attempted to be disrespectful with his words. It's not just he cannot say or do anything that's actually hurtful to me at all. But that's the key and word. People, and more people need to learn how to not allow words to move them in a way where they feel disrespectful because he called me a bitch. That doesn't mean anything. When I start moving in the fact that he called me a bitch. Then therefore he has power. He don't have no power over me. By him calling me a bitch doesn't mean anything at so, all. But listen, and all the people understand that they, they cannot be moved no, by I'm, I'm these words. They cannot be moved. You cannot put more yeah, power I, over him than somebody else. Me. If a black person called me a bitch or Ben thought a white man called me a bitch, they do not hold extra value because he's a white man. It I does not. That. And don't but move the, the difference, fucking needle. The he's not over is, nobody that I fucking know and love. Simple as that. So don't put it because he got some fucking pale skin that I'm supposed to be more concerned with how he fucking talk. It doesn't matter if he's black, white, Spanish, or a fucking alien. It doesn't fucking matter to me. Ain't nobody over me. It's not about oh, him. Really, really, really. Hold well, on, well, hold well, on. Well, well, here is here. Go ahead, my go ahead. Go ahead. No. Man, like I say, Sharon about that show business, man. He don't, <laughs> he don't care about what nobody up here talking about. You know, as long as it's a lituation, <laughs> Sharon gonna let it rock. Which, hey man, I, I think I think he's true to who he is. At a, at a certain you know point in time, you either, you know if you're not rocking with it, then you know yeah, you gonna have to make the choice not to go to the show or not to watch. Uh, you know, some people made comments like, you know, why are we forced to listen to this and listen to that. You know, ain't nobody forced to do it. You know, that that is one thing about it. Can't lie. You know, let's go. No, no, I agree with Sharon. Here's the thing. Hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? The difference is the word that you use is tolerance, right? Because in real life, cuzzo, in real life, me and you walking down the street together, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say we get into a disagreement with people of our kind, right? Mm -hmm. Are we gonna be more tolerant in that situation? Or if me and you walking down the street and there's some random white dude come and say hey look at these niggas over here <laughs> it's gonna be a different level of turn up a different level of aggression right so we can't pretend that that's not true right because it certainly is true right this is our space right well, the, and so, if so, i would listen but, if we got but, hold on, but here's, hold a, here's on, the no, difference listen, of what you're trying to you, you took it let up so the problem let me is, is let me land it real quick let me land it i want to jump into that point right there because you're wrong with that point hold on you're wrong with that point. It's all about the antenna why somebody is trying to antagonize me. Because somebody could tell me what's good, and then somebody could say what's good, and those are two different terms, even though it's the same words. So it doesn't matter if you say nigga or brother. He could say, what's going on with you, brother? And I know that's a fighting stance. So it's really about the intent of how they're using the words. Well, so right. this is but the I'm 
Oh, go ahead, Francis. I'm sorry. I'm talking about there's a different level of tolerance when we deal with different levels of people. And you know this, cuz though. You know this. You know what I'm saying? And and he, right? And he knows. And that's the thing. It's intent. Intent matters. Correct. Right? The Rim brothers, they, they come over here. Some of it is intentional and some of it is just reckless, right? But he is intentionally coming to a black audience, right? To dispute his hate, vitriol, and disrespect for our people. That that is his intention. He's not here to have a good faith conversation at all, right? Well, he wants to disrespect our women, right? He wants to control and dictate the conversation, right? And make us seem inferior to him, right? So that that is his goal. So the problem is this: so me looking at how he moved and how Fatty moved, I see no difference. Right, yeah. but, but I, I do not see no issue. difference in those two men. I don't. Even, I have I the same issue with both of them, and I always ask you because. And so, what irks me with you is the fact that you will sit here and say, "Oh, well, let's have a conversation," as if there's going to be any productive conversation had. We not gonna learn nothing from them, <laughs> and they asses. Ain't- I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, Sharon be killing the game with that with that conversation. Every fourth or fifth word out of his mouth is conversation. <laughs> I mean, one thing about he is about the conversation, man. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I say, we don't need too much of, of that conversation, you know. Like I say, a little snippet of it, and then we can move on uh, and progress, you know, um, amongst ourselves, I believe. You know what I mean? Rather than having somebody up there just to trigger the panel and the audience. Because there's people in, in the, the uh, chat, you know, disagreeing and, and, and really saying, this ain't it, this ain't what's up, you know? Yeah. Like I say, man, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Let's go. Ain't finna learn nothing from us. But uh, it might be entertainment or some shit like that. But there's no moving of the needle. And a lot of those people just come here because they want to center themselves. And I'm talking about Fatty. I'm talking about them crackers that was up here, right? And so now we were supposed to be having a conversation about a book, mm-hmm. right? And now we sitting here talking about them fucking crackers. Just like yesterday, it was started out as one conversation, and then it ended up everybody was talking about Fatty. So can I re- can I just add one thing? Right? No, I know. I, so the, <laughs> thank you for being patient, everybody. Thank y'all. I want to thank everybody being patient. We're going to continue the conversation. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate so, you. So the one thing that I value about Sharon and his channel is that it doesn't become an echo chamber because he allowed voices from all communities, regardless if he agree with it or not. Yeah. And and I think what people don't understand, yeah. when you start filtering out everybody that you disagree with or offended by, That's you create, it. hold on, I got you. I, I get you, I don't like it. It creates an echo chamber. And over here, the one thing that I say I appreciate is that it, it makes Sharon not look like a liar. Cause when he talked by himself, I was like, it's no way his dudes out here doing this crazy stuff like he's he's really just talking and then when i see it in real time he said hey i am correcting this behavior that's happening in real time and here is the person that's doing it so i actually think that it's good for the conversation even we know that y'all guys might not move forward the average man hold up man what did what did eat a man just hey that's eat a man williams by the way man uh, go check him out too man uh you know i don't agree with everything that dude be talking about but like i say i ain't, ain't no hate but either did, did he just say that the things that Sharon be showing like this or whatever he didn't know about. It's like, come on, man. Let me go back a little bit. I don't know. Is that it It makes Sharon not look like a liar. Because when he talked by himself, I was like, there's no way his dude's out here doing this crazy stuff. Like, he's, he's real. Man, come on, man. Either man Williams, like, think 40 or mid-40s, man. Come on. We, we, we know what type of dudes out here, man. We black white whatever and everything in between we, we know what type of men out here and women out here we don't need no uh crash course display of some degenerate shit to 
to figure out who somebody is, man. We already know that, man. We we grown enough. You know, my opinion. Really just talking. And then when I see it in real time, he said, hey, I am correcting this behavior that's happening in real time, and here is the person that's doing it. So I actually think that it's good for the conversation. Even we know that y'all guys might not move forward. The average viewer say, hey, I see what he said. I see it in real time, and I see why he's on the mission that he's on. So that's just my opinion. So the thing is, there are lots of different people with views like uh, those white people. Right, but there are people at different. Well, I ain't gonna lie, boy. Boys be up there making a the case, making the whole case. Levels of it, right? So you got some uh, scholars who can talk about it in a different way, right? So when you're having that type of conversation, it's a little bit different than just having your run-of-the-mill white trash cracker. Right. There's nothing to be gained from that. And like, I'm just a fan of not giving certain people audiences. It's not about a conversation, right? Because the and more intelligent uh, people are and the more intelligent, even racist <laughs> can have a different type of conversation where you might be able to get something out of that. But just your run of the mill white trash cracker, you're not going to get anything out of it. So I agree with you, Steve. Shut up, okay, Jack. I, I, I'm going to ask you this question: Do, do you believe? Ready. Do you believe in con- consequences? Which who you asking? I'm, a, I'm asking Sharon. Oh, okay. Yes, I believe if you eat too much, it's consequences for it. Yes. See that that old smart ass that smart ass uh, re, uh, re, uh, re, uh, mark. Well, okay, but let's then let's, let's talk about consequences. So so they they can make money off of your black ass. You know, and they can go on Fox News. I mean, if I see Anton Daniels on Fox News one more time, I'm going to say I blame niggas like like, like you. Uh, if I see Tommy Sotomayor on Fox News again, I blame niggas like y'all because y'all give them niggas uh, a whole lot of shine without telling them uh, what time it is and, t- and, and telling them to be on their P's and Q's, which, which you want to make money off of black dysfunction. That's what you do, Sherrod. So you are part of the fucking problem. I ain't gonna lie, man. I think Sharon be on that shit, man. Hey, but but let's keep it a buck though. Let's keep it a stack. That's what people that's what people tune in into, man. I mean, it is what it is. You know, every time them cash apps coming in, come in, it's a lituation. You know what I'm saying? He dropped that money sound. I mean. It just becomes a certain certain point in time where you can't blame somebody for giving the giving the people what they want. You know, like I said, it was people in the audience disagreeing, but what wasn't too many people leaving though. That's what I'm saying. Hey. But I digress, man. Let's go. Thank you very much. And and what Brownsville said is correct. You see, everything's a fucking game to you, Sherrod. Everything's a fucking game. All, all the, all the, uh, you got uh, all the other niggas. On, I don't, what, what. And see, this is why I'm mad with it, man. Because I, I feel the same way about Sharon and a couple other content creators. But at the same time, man, when I look at it, when I look around and look at everybody, can't nobody really say say shit or, or talk shit to each other. Everybody pretty much on the same bullshit. So. It's just entertainment, man. <laughs> That's what it chalks up to. Chalks up to to me, man. It's my opinion. Let's go. What's, what's, what's so funny? I'm, I'm sorry. The, fu- the funny thing is, is that you think that you are not disrespected, but I'm allowing no, you to no, do no, it. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. The problem no, is, no, hold on, Jay. Hold on. Let's not go there. Hold on, hold on. The problem is, boy, just do be picking and choosing what to have an issue with. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a lot of other, lot of other things that go on that don't nobody say nothing about. There's certain people that can say certain things, and it's no problem. Somebody else said, you know, it's the issue. You know, everyday struggle. 
is that you know, in fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. And let us bring something else too on this. Let's bring some fatty, fatty disrespect to your. Hold on, fatty disrespect to your your daughter. You still give him. You still Jay, hold give on. him some Jay, fucking hold honest. On. Get the fuck out of here, Jay. dude. Jay, you want to get a chance to talk? Say so again, you are disrespecting me, right? Man. No, right. you have right. been disrespecting right. me. Well, them punk ass brownies and shit, everything else. And I'm gonna say something to you right now. I'm gonna be an asshole on this shit. When I left this channel months ago, your chat, your view count went. <laughs> Remember that shit? No, nigga, nigga. Remember that shit? Anybody know the last time? The last time I was up here full of uh, full time. Guess what I'm? Guess what I'm to your channel? Nigga, yeah. Not full time. When the, when the nose died. <laughs> so, uh, so was you part of my show yesterday? Uh, when I said before, uh, <laughs> when you were doing the morning shows a few yeah. months ago, when I left and stopped mm. being a regular over here, your channel went. Pee- and then, that's not true. That's not true, No, 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 yeah, yeah, Sharon did. Sharon did have Ben Thorpe's daughter up there. She was on the same BS. You know, like I said, we seen it before, man. Look, look at Sharon cheesing. Man, that boy don't get get no fucks. <laughs> yeah, like I said, man, can you know people be picking and choosing what to talk shit about, man? But uh, like I say, man, um, I'm gonna pretty much end it here, man. Uh, I like to encourage y'all if y'all want to see the rest of it, the full thing, man. Uh, go check out Sharon Bracey, man. Like I say, man, uh, like it or love it. Interesting show. Um, always something to talk about. And that's what's up, man. But uh, in my opinion, yeah, Sharon don't, Sharon don't get no fucks. <laughs> you know, he going to make it an inter- interesting show uh, no matter what. You know, and it is what it is. I, I think I think dude done mastered the game pretty much right now. You know what I'm saying? I think um, if it wasn't for him having a real job, you know, and could uh, dedicate more time to this right here. He could be a little bigger than what he is, you know. I'm just getting some real, uh, real uh, opinion about it. But uh, like I say, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Like I said, it's your boy Kang Hitter. I'm Billy McKenna, one brick at a time. I don't know what you're doing. Till next time, I'm out of here.